a full house, my gosh. <laughs> Masal Khair, good evening. Our names, Omar, Maryam, Ali, Aram, Daniel, Sara, Nizar, Rita. Our nationality, Syria. Our religion, Syria. Syria is our homeland the birthplace of history, where minarets and church bells echo one another's call to prayer, where jasmine grows in courtyards and in our hearts. Our roots are deeper than the birth of time. Easier said than done. Oh, Father, it's easier said than done. O oh, mother, it's easier said than done. O oh, brother, O oh, sister, O oh, people, it's easier said than done. The Big Bang. This time, not a theory of creation, but an explosion not making but erasing history, announcing the coming of doomsday, of Armageddon. Everything. Everything, every wall, every corner, every memory crumbled while our hearts were buried alive underneath the rubble. Our enemies, armies of bloodthirsty monsters approaching from all corners of our world, announcing our doom before its time. You see the Arabic on the wall? It reads, we will return one day. Our homeland will be rebuilt. Ladies and gentlemen, this was not a teenage sniper with a gun on a shooting rampage. This was not a child playing with matches. No, ladies and gentlemen, these are adults shooting our alphabet and musical notes in the name of a god and in the name of a country. Today we're only visited by cameras and more cameras. Notice that little boy on the left in the red and blue. He's a proud soccer of Barcelona, but he, like the rest of us, has no fans. We Syrians have no fans. Dear sir or madam, it's hard to be a child in our country, for we have to strike matches so that we can keep our dreams alive, for the freezing rain keeps on threatening to extinguish our fires. And just as we think we've gotten our share of nightmares for the day, we escape and lie our weary heads to sleep, but only to face more nightmares. We, we are the children of Syria. We are les miserables of the 21st century. Syria, a human tragedy written with our blood. We are the sons of war. We are Syria's child soldiers, our thrones erected on an endless destruction. You ask of humanity, humanity, it continues to hold its meetings and with a peace of mind, it continues to watch as the tragedy resumes on a red stage satiated with Syrian blood. Our mothers have lost their legs. And as for us, we, the Syrian children, have been denied the simplest right of lying our tired heads on our mother's laps. Ajmalul Ummahat, the most beautiful of mothers, is an Arabic poem. It reads, 
The most beautiful of mothers is she who awaited her son, and he returned a martyr, so she cried two tears and a flower. That's in poetry, but in reality, all we want, mother and child, is to stay alive. But some of our mothers didn't make it from underneath the rubble. They killed our mothers. They, the enemy, killed our mothers. They say, children are most beautiful when they smile. They say the laughter of children gives soul to a homeland. Our dreams, we no longer dream of white doves, nor of olive branches. We dream, we dream of our mother's smiles. We dream as humanity continues with its sleep. We dream of an enemy's bullet to turn us into angels so that we can be with our mothers. Thank you.